Hey guys, so today I am going to be refreshing my current makeup basket. So this is my Shop My Stash series that I've been doing on my channel. And I update it every couple of weeks. Sometimes it's every month, sometimes it's every two weeks. I think for the foreseeable future at least, I'm gonna plan to do these every other week, every two weeks. Um, probably on Sundays is when I'll do them just because I feel like I have so much makeup in my collection that I want to rotate through and a lot of products that I'm especially excited about for the spring and summer seasons. And last month I also talked about how I want to start taking a slightly more minimal approach to my makeup basket. I was putting like maybe 15 or so items in at once, but in my last basket I had eight products and that seems like a really good number to where I'm not going to get overwhelmed. I'm able to really give each product enough attention and do some looks with everything and so I think I'm going to stick to doing right around eight products in the basket at once. And so in this first part of the video I'm going to give you a little recap of these eight products that I've had in my basket for the past two weeks and then we will go through my collection and pick out a new set of items. So I also filmed demos of everything. I'm wearing all these products on my face today showing you all the products in action and I am also going to start doing that moving forward as well just to make these videos a little bit more fun and interesting. So let's go ahead and start with some of the cheek products that I had in my basket this time. The first thing I put in was the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzing Essence. This I received in PR a couple months ago and I just felt like I hadn't formed an opinion on it so I wanted to give it some more uses and see if I could figure out how I feel about this product. And I did use this quite a few times over the past few weeks and I think what I've determined is that I don't think I would recommend this. I don't mind using it. I do sometimes like the effect that I get with it. I am wearing this today. The only way I've found that I like using it is with a sponge. So I'll take some on the back of my hand and then pick that up with my sponge. Whenever I use a brush, I feel like it just gets patchy, but with a sponge, it is less prone to looking patchy. Still can be a tiny bit patchy sometimes, but another thing I don't really like about this is the packaging. It does come in this dropper bottle, but this, when I put the dropper back in, it gets really messy. Look at it like, Oh my gosh, I can't... The opening is all messy and the dropper itself doesn't do a good job actually picking up product. So I think it's maybe like too, slightly too thick to really work with a dropper like that. So I think they probably should have put this in a squeeze tube rather than this type of bottle. It's a pretty bottle, but it doesn't work very well. So couple, I have a couple of complaints about it. I am still able to make it work and I do like it when I do make it work, but it's just, it's not my favorite bronzer. And I also had in my Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in the shade Nude Kiss. This is another newer product that I wanted to just kind of form an opinion on and I absolutely fell in love with this. This is such a great cream blush. If you like a cream blush that's in a compact like this, which is my personal favorite packaging for cream blush, I think you'll really enjoy this. You'll see me apply it here in the demo. It's just very easy to apply. I love this shade. It's like just kind of like a mid-toned rosy nude color. I feel like it's kind of a unique color. It does look a lot different than what it looks like in the photos online, so just be aware of that. But the other thing I like about this is the finish on my cheeks. It does have kind of a dewy finish, and I do have highlighter on as well. But even before highlighter, it does just leave your cheeks looking very hydrated and a little bit dewy. But I also really like how smooth this looks on my cheeks. I feel like it actually makes my cheeks look extra like plump and hydrated and smooth. So loving that. I used that eight times over the past two weeks. So really fell in love with that. And then I also had my CoverGirl Clean Fresh powder in the basket this time around. I already knew I loved this, but I was hoping to hit pan on it and I did. You saw in my most recent products I hit pan on. In that video, I had just hit pan on it and it had like the tiniest little speck of pan showing, but look at it now. I have massive pan in there, so I enjoyed using this. This was the main powder that I reached for over the past two weeks. I did use it 11 times as both an under eye powder and a face setting powder. It's just a phenomenal powder. I also had my Aether Beauty Crushed Diamond Highlighter in the shade Pink Diamond Dust. These Aether highlighters, I have two shades, this one and Pure Diamond Dust. I think these are becoming my favorite highlighters in my collection. And I don't think everyone would like this highlighter because it is kind of sparkly and normally I wouldn't like that either. But I think it's very rare that you find like a sparkly, glimmery highlighter like this that manages to not look chunky and weird. Like it still manages to look very smooth and almost wet and glossy on your cheeks. Even though it does have like actual detectable shimmer particles to it. It's not just like a smooth pearlescent highlighter. It is very glimmery, so I think it's very hard for brands to do a sort of more sparkly highlighter in a way that actually looks very flattering on the skin. So I think Aether nailed it with these. I do think that these are either 
discontinued or maybe they they still haven't gotten around to putting these in the new packaging with their new rebranded look so hopefully they'll come back but look at what a dip I have going in here I feel like I could potentially hit pan on that soon so yeah honestly I could wear these Aether highlighters every day I think they are stunning okay so let's chat about the eyeshadows that I had in here this month I also I rolled in my elf earth and ocean palette which just looks like an early spring palette to me and so that's why I put this in for these past two weeks of March and then I also rolled in my black moon cosmetics liquid shadow in the shade zenith this is I have three of these and I've been just kind of like rotating them in and out of my basket this is the only one I hadn't had in yet I am wearing both of these on my eyes today I did use some of my um, volatile shade for my ABH Marvina palette in the crease just because that is in my pan those eyeshadows and I wanted to use that as well but um, other than that I put some of the shade uh, Mojave Mommy in the crease and then I did deepen up the outer corner with volatile from ABH as well and then I have gold brush mainly on my lid that's this really metallic like yellowy gold shade a little bit of sun yourself that paler yellow in the inner part of my lid so then I laid down Oasis this matte kind of pastel blue in my inner corner topped that with salt water which is like kind of like the shimmery version of that shade and then <laughs> I know this is very extra to have three shades layered on top of each other in my inner corner I did apply some of this on top of both of those shades into my inner corner. I love that combo. I'm loving this yellow and like pale blue combo lately. That's also the color combo I was wearing in my last video, my low buy update. It was a very different look, but I'm loving that color combo these days. It's a really pretty kind of fun, bright, springy combo. So that's pretty much the look. I did put a little bit, I think, of Desert Storm in my outer corner as well. I did quite a few other looks with Earth and Ocean this month. I dipped into it a total of six different days over the course of the past two weeks. And then with the Black Moon shadow, I used that three times. There was another look I did, might have been one of my favorite looks this whole month. I posted it on my Instagram, but I had on several of the shades in the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. I had this deep navy blue, um, and then this royal blue kind of on the center of my lid. And then I took one of the shades from my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, the ColourPop single in the shade La Playa, which is this mint green. That's what I had on the inner part of my lid. And then I topped the whole lid with that Black Moon liquid shadow, which is just such a pretty, like, minty, um, shifty shade. It's got, like, a little bit of a purple shift to it. Yeah, that was such a fun look. I did another more green look. That was the look that I did in my Testing Your Makeup Tips video, using, like, the shade Sahara and some of these golds as well. So, yeah, had a ton of fun with this palette with both the greens and the blues, although I think I actually ended up reaching into the blues more often. But yeah, I love this palette. Very glad that I had the chance to give it some good use over these past two weeks. Then I did have an eyeliner in the basket as well. This is the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus liner in the shade Midnight Blue, a deep navy blue. This is what I have on my upper lash line today. I tight lined with it and then I did just apply some to my lash line and winged it out a little bit. This nice navy blue ended up going really well with the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. A lot of the looks that I did this month happened to pair really well with this shade. Yeah, I really like... A, a deep navy blue liner. I think it's kind of underrated. Usually I go for like black or brown, but a navy blue, it's just a little bit different. It doesn't look like a super obvious pop of color because it is so deep, but it's just something a little bit different. And I felt like I hadn't used this very much before this past two weeks. So glad that I got some good use out of that as well. And then finally, the lip color that I had in was the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Always Cheery. And this is what I have on my lips today. It makes such a fun, pretty, bright coral color for spring. I'm sure it'll make a great shade in the summer as well. Yeah, very comfortable formula here. This is the only shade of this uh, hydrating core lip shine formula that I have, but I highly recommend it if you're looking for just a good, comfy, like throw it in your purse kind of lip color. It does have that kind of, I feel like it's kind of gimmicky, but it has that little like clear heart-shaped core there that's supposed to have like hydrating properties to it. I feel like they might as well just mix that in with the whole thing, but I guess it's, I don't know, I'm sure it sells well for them, so that's why they do it like that, but it has a, it kind of smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, which I personally really like. It's kind of a faint smell though, it's not super in your face or anything, like I don't think that this is like too overkill on the scentedness, but at the same time I also like the smell of watermelon, so yeah, you can see it's got a, a nice like sort of hydrated, balmy finish. Really pigmented though, it's more pigmented than your typical like tinted lip balm, but really enjoyed that and I'm glad I was finally able to get some use out of this because I bought this 
during like the Black Friday sale and I just wasn't really reaching for shades like this at that time but now that we're in the spring I've been loving this kind of color. So those were the eight products that I had in my makeup basket over the past two weeks. I am excited to put these back into my collection and pick out a whole new set of products. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so as usual, I like to start down here with my palettes. And as you know, I do have my Pan Those Eyeshadows project going on. So I like to just pick one palette. Don't wanna overload myself, but I am gonna grab my Clarity Cosmetics So Amazing palette. As we are in full-on spring, I am just loving pastels on my eyes lately. So this palette is just begging for me to use it right now. I I love these shimmers especially, but this is just such a great color story for spring. So I am excited to get some looks out of that. Definitely look forward to some reels with this over on Instagram. And that actually goes really well with my makeup basket too. So then going into my lip drawer, um, again, I just want to pick one thing, just one, and I'm actually going to grab my CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Honey to Bloom. This is a great kind of cooler toned nude pink shade. I also think this is a great color for the spring. And this, if you remember, was actually on my planning to pan list for this year. I haven't yet put it into my project pan. It's kind of leaning over a little bit, but um, at some point this year, I do plan to add it into my project, but for now, I am just still trying to get as much use out of it as I can until then. So, so I do want to pull out a bronzer, and I'm actually going to grab my Jordana Powder Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. This is, I think this is my oldest bronzer that I currently own. Jordana no longer is in business either, so you know it's pretty old. This is what it looks like right now. I would like to hit pan on this. I don't know if I'll be able to hit pan on it in the next two weeks that it's in my makeup basket, but I'm gonna try. You can see I've kind of worn down that um, diamond imprint on there, so it's possible. I have no idea how deep the pan goes, but this is a nice kind of warm toned bronzer, but it's more of like a reddish toned bronzer, so it's a good tone, and I think it'll be nice for the spring especially. For blush and I guess highlight as well, I kind of want to pull out this Kosas Papaya 1972 Duo. Here is what that looks like. It's got like a peachy toned blush and then like a peachy champagne sort of highlighter. This I've had since Black Friday and I've used it a few times. As you can see, I definitely have used it, but I feel like I haven't used it as much as I would like to. And I think this will be a good spring duo as well. Kind of light and peachy. I think it'll complement that So Amazing palette nicely. And for powder, kind of just like to bounce between all of my different powders. I'm gonna pull in my e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. This is my other favorite press powder, this one and the CoverGirl one. I just really enjoy. And I would like to just see how much I can expand the pan on this in the next couple weeks. So then I have my cream and liquid cheek products. I actually think I do wanna pull in my Undone Beauty Water Highlighter in the shade Rose Lit, just because I feel like I haven't used this in a long time. And I do really like this highlighter. I think it's a nice, like, sort of light pink tone for the spring. And if I'm ever not in the mood to use that Kosas one, because the Kosas one is very subtle, um, this might be a good one to reach for. And I think that's going to do it for cheek products. Then we have base products. I'm actually not going to put any of these in my basket. Lately, I've just been bouncing between all of these. And I do have a couple of base products in my project pan right now that I'm just really trying to focus on. So I'm not going to pull any of these in right now. But I do want to look at my liner cups. I have my... Um, eyeliners here and my lip liners here. So I want to pick one of each. I think I'm going to pull in my NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Periwinkle Pop. This is just a nice kind of light frosty purple that I think will go really well with that Clarity palette. I really like just popping this in the waterline. And then for a lip liner to go with that CoverGirl lipstick, let's grab my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Manic. Some of you guys might remember this was actually in my project pan last year, and I definitely am still trying to get use out of it even though it's not currently in my project pan. It's a slightly deeper like pinky mauve color that I think will go really well with that CoverGirl lipstick. And um, I think this kind of like light pinky vibe is really pretty for the spring. So that is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. I feel like eight is just a good number. It's kind of a random number, but for some reason that that's just like the right amount of products where I get a nice variety, but I'm not gonna get overwhelmed having too many products in my makeup basket all at once. So definitely look forward to seeing these products in action over the next couple of weeks. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I will leave my whole makeup basket playlist linked down below if you wanna watch more videos like this. But otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.